Hello Leos and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your mid-November 2016 reading. I've prayed over the cards and blessed the cards with my stones and I am feeling like there is a real similar energy between money and relationships. And that energy is about letting something go. It's about teaching by example. Okay, um, let's just move forward. The first card uh, in your reading uh, is representing you. So you're saying to someone, I have an idea. I have some money to put an idea. I Maybe you're trying to sell something. Maybe you're wanting to go into a partnership with someone. So you're racing into this going, hey, you know what? I've got this new idea, this new thing going on. Or someone's offering it to you. Someone may be saying, you know what? I got a good deal. And you may be sitting there saying, hmm, I'm not sure about this deal. Is somebody trying to get away with something? Or is there some kind of battle with regards to money that you thought you won and in the long run it may have not turned out so well? I'm thinking something may not have turned out so well or isn't a good idea. In the recent past, this person came and very nicely made an offer or opportunity available. I think in the near future you're going to see that this person or this opportunity is not what it was all wrapped up to be. It is up to you to put some thought into this, to investigate from every angle as to whether or not this is something you should do. Someone around you may try and force the issue. They may try and be a little more demanding or put some strict dates, due dates, closing dates. Your hopes are that you make the right decision. The three cards in your outcome card position say you've thought about this, you've taken the steps to figure it out, you might want to wait a little longer, you're kind of going back and forth, yet you are considering what you could create from the situation. So you're contemplating maybe. I continued on with the gate, uh, Gilded Tarot with the three card reading and here you have the moon. Again, what is it about the situation that I don't see? What is it that I'm not understanding? Here's people saying, hurry up, hurry up. We want to close on this deal. And then again, you might be saying, I don't think so. I took the death card. Actually, I didn't take the death card. The death card showed up over here, ironically, with the gateway to the divine tarot. I did a confirming. I said, please tell me what this death card means to this circumstance and situation. And the gateway to the divine tarot laid this out again and said, it's coming to a close. You're going to finally get out from under the situation. And you'll be celebrating something. So I asked the Rider Wait deck, please confirm with a five, six card reading. 
something's going to be offered. You're going to need a lot of strength. You could take the situation and create something from it. You could change it into something else and make it profitable. Either way, it needs to come to a close because it's starting to bug you. Magically, you are going to be like in the beginning. You are going to come up with an idea. You're going to adjust the situation. You're going to work with the situation. And you're going to change it to your benefit. I pulled three cards from the Dorian Virtue Angel card deck. And the first card you received was the Wheel of Fortune. Archangel Mike, Michael. Uh, name uh, A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side. So what you need to do is take the circumstance, adjust it so it's beneficial to you, and then you will be blessed with fortune. The Ace of Water says, Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and hence intuition a new home this tells me that you are going to fall in love with the situation so this is where I started saying okay we're seeing water cards here it could be that somebody who could have been an earth sign Virgo Taurus or Capricorn Sun Moon or rising came to you and said I want to offer you love you were unsure you're wondering what they're going to take from you maybe it's your heart you may, you're sitting on the Three of Swords saying, is it going to lead to heartache? Because in the future, you know that they may not be good for you. You have to make a choice. Don't let them pressure you. You could come out from the situation and celebrate that you got away with it, but they could make a change. And then you may find that they come back to you and offer you a better part of themselves. Earth sign again. To get back to the angel card reading, the third card was a six of water. Memories from history, your history or childhood. Issues regarding children and romanticizing the past. So, could be someone from your past. Could be someone that you dealt with in the past. Same with money. Could be someone that you dealt with in the past. That's why you were unsure. If they made adjustments, it could be an opportunity. I feel the situation is blessed because whoever it is that you're communicating with over this new issue, this new plan, you receive the angel card, Andriel, who is saying you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love on an angel, like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. And then that was followed by angel Aurora, who says you're flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So either a business situation will change because you know what you're doing and you're going to make it successful or a person is going to change because they are listening to what you have to say and love you enough to make changes within themselves. The last two cards I pulled for your reading are from the uh, Romance Angel card deck by Dorian Virtue and the first card you received is Passion. Allow your heart and joy and Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you're going to be very um, excited, focused, interested in the situation. It will interest you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So be it a person or a contract or a new business. It is important, Leo, at this time to know that you've got the smarts and you got a strong heart to lay the situation out exactly how you want it at this time. If they don't bend to accommodate 
what you know is right, then you need to move forward. And that would be the answer to your question for mid-November to the end of November. It doesn't have to be sad. It just means that you're heading down the right path and you're making good decisions at this time. Keep your eyes open. Stay focused. Thank you so much for coming to me for your mid-November reading, and I hope to see you again in December. Take care, and God bless.